As if you weren't being tracked enough already on your phone and on the internet, now the government wants to track you where you drive. The Department of Homeland Security wants a private company to create a national license plate tracking system. It would give them access to where you are driving and when you drove there. They claim this will help find criminals and illegals. Judge Andrew Napolitano is steamed and he's here. I'm not making a joke of this. I know you're, you're upset about this. Right. But I don't understand why. I don't understand You don't understand why wrong. I'm upset or what's wrong with this? No, I, I don't understand. Well, I understand why you're upset, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I know you quite well, sir. But wait a minute. What, what's wrong with a police department, a, a, an instrument of government, taking a picture of a license plate, shooting it up to a satellite, a database, and back comes the information on whether this is a good guy or a bad guy. I don't, I don't see what's wrong with that. Because this. the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution puts a bar on the ability of police to in, commence an investigation, and they have to jump over that bar. And that bar is called articulable suspicion. So if they think there is something wrong that the person driving the car is a bad guy, they can check it out. But they cannot willy-nilly check out anything they want. The reason for that clause in the Fourth Amendment is to ensure that the police will only go after people when there's a reasonable suspicion that they're doing something wrong. Okay. They cannot commence, commence an investigation on anybody they want. Okay, Otherwise, that brings us to East Germany. Reasonable suspicion may be you're driving a little like this all over the place. Yes. Nothing wrong with that, right? Correct. Check them out. Correct. These, these uh, uh, Department of Homeland Security, without authorization from the Congress, wants to take a photograph of every license plate on every motor vehicle in the United States of America everywhere you go. That's the moral equivalent of having a federal agent in the trunk of your car without a great debate, without the Congress authorizing it, just by the president and uh, uh, Jay Johnson, I think his name is, um, uh, the head of uh, DHS, saying so themselves. That's not the way we operate. How do you explain that President Obama, as candidate Obama, was vigorously against this kind of tracking and intrusive press? The world but looks what? very different from the inside of the White House maybe looking it does. out than from but the outside looking in. Judge, maybe it does look different. When you're on the inside and you're acquainted with all the facts and all the threats which are coming at us, maybe that's when you face the reality that you need this kind of tracking. Maybe you think you don't need the Constitution anymore because you have that pen and that phone. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the same side on that one. Um, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, you You're got speechless. <laughs> Stuart is speechless? <laughs> it's rare. Rare indeed, ladies and gentlemen. God, All love, right. God uh, love you, Stuart. Yeah, thank you very much, Judge. <laughs>